It's a bull. Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Uh, I'm an experienced 40-plus uh, year precious metal and rare coin dealer. I've been in this same location since uh, 1995 here in Lauderdale by the Sea, and I buy and sell all types of uh, precious metal products. Been doing it uh, again, working for my family since 1977. I think it's been over 40 years now. Uh, take a look at this great uh, shot right here of the underwater cam in Deerfield Beach. Now this is like two cities uh, north of me, but uh, I get tired of showing the same cam of the beach every day of the pier, so I've been showing this a little bit more. Those are pilchards, great bait fish. Uh, everything eats them. Sailfish, grouper, uh, yellowtail, snapper, you name it. So if you're not a fisherman, uh, a lot of the fish you eat are caught on these things, or this is the diet of many fish in South Florida. Well, not a fishing report. This is a precious metals report. Uh, though, I tell you, there's days where I'd rather be talking about fishing, that's for sure. Uh, let's move on to best deals for gold and silver out there. It is the one strong point that I have that I can help you, all you folks with, is uh, what the best deals out there are in precious metals. As far as the physical products go, you know, bars and coins and such. So I'm going to talk about that here towards the end of the show here. Uh, I'll go over the uh, visual here. I just like to pull up the screen here with uh, my search engine and show a bunch of different products. I don't care you know, who, who has them. What I'll do is I'll discuss what the best deal out there is. Not too much to talk about in news. We'll go over the video today or yesterday's video uh, and some comments from yesterday's video as well. Uh, GATA.org. Um, again, nothing new here. We've discussed pretty much everything this week uh, or from last week that I've seen come up here in GATA.org. Uh, and I suspect that you guys are reading this before I even get to it, so that's a good deal as well. Uh, same thing with ZH, not a lot of news out there uh, as far as precious metals go. Nothing that we haven't talked about six zillion times already. Uh, just kind of going over the headlines. Again, nothing here that uh, uh, black swan type events that I can see happening that, that are going to cause gold to just like skyrocket this week. Uh, and besides, you don't like skyrocketing right away. Uh, futures tech stocks are up after uh, Fed officials talk down inflation risks. Um, you know, so you will see the market up a little bit today, I think. Not quite sure what's happening in the crypto markets, but again, not my expertise. So, you know, I'll touch on that subject once in a while when I think I have something to say worthy of uh, saying. And again, not too much as far as news go out here. Just the same old shit, pardon the expression. Uh, however, I did take a look out at the Wall Street Journal uh, uh, guys here. And uh, I, I'm not sure. I didn't really follow up too much after the May 1st event to see how they were feeling and how the general vibe was out there. You know, there's 82,000 uh, members on that uh, Wall Street Reddit uh, forum. Very powerful group as a whole. Um, and the enthusiasm, enthusiasm, uh, the enthusiasm of the uh, Wall Street silver uh, folks here—it's just—it's off the off the hook. I really like to see this, uh, and it's mostly younger folks and younger people stacking. I mean, I see some mistakes that are happening out here, but I see a lot of education. And if you're not making mistakes, you're not learning. Uh, so, uh, and that's a fact. Uh, but going down the line here, the, you know, the only big mistake I see out here is uh, uh, nothing wrong with exuberance. I like exuberance. Uh, and there's a lot of that. There's no doubt about that. There's some hype out here too, uh, but still, hype is good. It just keeps the uh, keeps the spirits up. Uh, the only thing I do see that I, I'm not a big fan of. I, I see parse things I do like. Uh, for example, this gentleman right here is buying uh, the silver bars and gold bars. Nothing wrong with that. He's not paying a lot for that. Uh, and but the only thing I don't like is silver eagles. You know, uh, I think a lot of when when you're starting out as a new stacker. Uh, so to speak, uh, you have to kind of define uh, what is it exactly is your goal here? Are you buying, you originally started buying silver because you heard from, you know, you heard or you read that silver is a good buy and it's a good way to make some money. Uh, but what happens is some of the new buyers, they get caught up in all this pretty new product. And, you know, that's things like, let's take a look here and see if I can click on that and get that picture a little bit bigger. Uh, Silver Eagles, for example, uh, Krugerrands. I'm not quite sure what the premium on, but I'm sure it's too much. Uh, there's the uh, Britannia, uh, and ex and I, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but uh, uh, especially new stackers, and everyone's going to say, "Well, you know, I like my shiny stuff." But you have to separate being a collector and being a stacker. Um, and I, maybe I shouldn't say stacker because maybe stacker defines collectors as well. So let me say this: you have to you have to figure out: am I buying bullion or am I being a, a collector? Uh, and there's two different mindsets here. 
Uh, once you start paying big premiums on product, you're becoming a collector, especially if you're buying it because of the way it looks or because of its popularity. That's a collector mentality. The, the, the investment mentality is that I don't care what it looks like as long as it's a recognizable form. And when I say recognizable form, I don't mean recognizable to you, uh, if you're not in the business, and I don't mean that as any disrespectful way, I mean res uh, recognizable product to dealers out there, people that do this every day for a living. So when I say recognizable product, I'm not saying, what well, did you recognize? Do your friends know what it is? Or even do the Wall Street uh, stackers know what it is? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, sorry, I went too, a little too far there. Uh, let me get back to uh, the, the forum here. Uh, so when I say recognizable product, recognizable to industry people, people that are in the industry. So you want to buy the cheapest premium product you can that's recognizable by industry people. Um, <clears throat> and that would uh, exclude, now all these products are recognizable on this page from this gentleman's uh, stack right here. Uh, but what would be the cheapest, most recognizable product, the best deals on this page? Well, the metal ore bar right there and the one ounce gold bar. After that, um, going down in order, I'd have to say probably Maple Leafs. I can't make out what that is. Uh, Maple Leafs would be the ne next best deal on this page. Uh, probably Krugerrands, uh, or maybe Maples and Krugers are tied. I'm not quite sure the availability of silver Krugerrands right now. Uh, and Eagles and Britannias. Britannias might be on par with these as well. Uh, however, um, I kind of doubt it. I think there's probably big premiums on that stuff. And again, you have to define what it is you, you want to do here. If you want to buy uh, uh, invest in silver, then again, who cares what it looks like? Who cares if it's ugly as long as it's recognizable and the premium's cheap? Um, but that doesn't satisfy the collecting bug. That doesn't satisfy people wanting to buy something pretty. What I recommend, if you have that desire and you like, you know, you like coins and you think the designs are pretty and you enjoy collecting them, separate the two entirely. Um, so separate your budget, put your budget for investment, and I like the idea of putting a bigger budget for investment, uh, you know, because if your investment works well, you can buy more collectibles and you can have more fun in the future. So, you know, focus on your investment, which is just buying cheap, recognizable products, okay? And uh, here, let's take a look at this gentleman's uh, stacks right here. Uh, I see he's got, a lot of this stuff is uh, uh, overpriced. Uh, premiums in my opinion. He's got some bars here which I think are a great thing. Uh, but what I would have uh, suggested to this gentleman right here is stick with the real basic products here uh, and then go buy yourself a really cool coin or a really rare coin or something. You know, Because a lot of the premiums that you're going to pay on some of these products that you're setting up here, uh, the ATBs, the America the Beautifuls over here, the uh, hockey pucks as we call them in the industry, the big giant uh, pucks here which can bring good premiums. Um, you know, if you're paying uh, over five, let me say uh, six bucks now because the premium rates are changed on silver. But if you're paying over uh, five and six bucks an ounce premium on any of these products, you're paying too much. That's per ounce, okay? Uh, and again, that's my opinion. Uh, you, I like the idea of separating the two. Again, if, you, if this gentleman just went out and bought this stuff, uh, gosh, this is really an overpriced way of buying silver. Uh, I encourage all you folks out there. That, why are millennials rating the comics? That's kind of funny. Uh, they're not. I'm sorry. Uh, but I like the meme anyways. Uh, but uh, 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 my recommendation, again, is uh, there's so many cool items out there that you can uh, collect uh, that, that'll, that'll uh, satisfy that, that urge to collect shiny, pretty things and, and things that have rarity. Um, but, you know, focus, again, on investing in, or your stack of uh, gold and silver. Uh, that is just, you're buying it just for its metal value. Uh, I'm going to get over some prices here. And again, a few things here. Morgan dollars and peace dollars, way overpriced. There's 0.77 ounces in a Morgan or a peace dollar, an old Morgan or peace dollar. That would put them around $21 in silver or something like that. At current prices, you know, give or take a dollar or something. Um, However, they're trading at the thirty to forty dollar range for circulated coins. It's too much, folks. You won't don't want to buy them at those prices, uh, unless it's the last thing you couldn't. If you can't find any other product, um, you can't find silver bars. You can't find ninety percent coin. You, you can't find the cheaper bullion products direct. Then you're kind of forced into buying these higher price products. Okay. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, but but recognize that you are paying way more than you should on this stuff. Uh, here's another good example of that. I think it's just cool. Who doesn't love King Kong and Godzilla? But, you know, how much over are you paying for these, uh, sir? I mean, if you're paying, you know, if you're buying these at spot plus four bucks, five bucks, six bucks, 
That's fun. That's cool. You know, you can add them to your stack. Uh, you can melt them. Who cares? You're not paying an exorbitant premium. But once you start getting up into that $8, 10 $15 over spot silver price, you know, you're in collectible area. And again, I would advise you stay out of that uh, collectible area um, if your intent was to stack gold and silver for its gold and silver value. Um, all kinds of cool things out here in the Wall Street site. I'm going to move along to, uh, here, let's go over here to CCE spot prices. Let's take a look at what the uh, silver and gold prices are right now. And uh, give me one moment. <clears throat> Scroll this over here and do a quick refresh right here. Wow, up quite a bit today. And I'm really surprised. What did the coin say this morning? The coin said a bull. Looks like it is a bull today. Let's see if it holds up on this bull market. Sorry for the bit of silence there. Uh, I wanted to refresh the page, and I was kind of taken aback here. So it is up quite a bit. Let's look at the overnight markets last night, 1873 uh, to 1895. So we've touched this 1895 mark already. Uh, be honest with you, I don't know if we did it just recently or sometime last night. Didn't look. Uh, uh, silver is nearing in on that $28 mark. Looks like it's hit it once already last night or this or today. Uh, but it's currently sitting at $27.91. And platinum, uh, $11.68 to uh, $11.92 range. So uh, uh, what kind of... Everything's up. Look, look at that. $12, bucks, uh, 11 cents on silver, and 9 So uh, perhaps we're going to break that $28 level this week. And uh, we're going to break the $1,900 level and stay there. And uh, let's see. Platinum has broken $1,200 so many times and hit $1,300 so many times. Uh, that that's not new territory for platinum. I still think platinum is really cheap right now, so good time to get in on platinum too if you get the opportunity. Uh, let's talk about yesterday's videos. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what happens in today's markets, but uh, I think we're kind of making these uh, little highs, these new highs. Uh, again, if you see a big dip in this market, it's probably paper orientated and no less buy those dips if you get the opportunity. Meanwhile, if you don't get the opportunity, uh, just uh, kind of hold them out. So as I said, buy the dip uh, if it does dip down and do not sell into any big dips that you see because they will only be temporary. We are in a great full-blown bull market here. In my opinion, we are not in any bubble territory or even close to it so relax buy these dips buy buy as much as you possibly can when you can uh, let's move into uh, uh, yesterday's video and uh, what I was talking about stop effing whining we're doing great and, and, the, and the focus on the video was just to assure people that uh, uh, you know first off uh, this is not a get-rich-quick uh, 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 thing that you buy gold and silver bars and coins it, it's never been about getting rich quick you can make a lot of money off it uh, over a period of time but it's mostly about wealth preservation and that's what we talked about yesterday in yesterday's video is preserving your wealth and how important that is uh, so if you've made a lot of money in crypto or you've made a lot of money in the, whatever investments that you've done or or you went to Las Vegas and you hit it big you know take some of that money and preserve it with uh, precious metals that's at least that's my opinion it's it's all about wealth preservation primarily however uh, as I said you can make a lot of money and chances are if you're buying in at these levels and less uh, you're going to make a lot of money here in the future coming up again just my opinion and uh, take it for what it is uh, let's take a look at the products out there right now uh, I said I was going to go over some of what I thought were the best deals and the worst deals out there I do this daily anyway but I'll, I'll go to a little more in-depth with some uh, smaller fractional pieces we'll talk about some of those uh, I appreciate all these folks that put images out there. I'm going to use their images. That includes Kitco and these guys or whoever they are. Uh, nice images. So might as well, rather than reinvent the wheel, let's use what they got. Let's take a look at this little stack here. I, I was looking at the Wall Street uh, 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 Silver Guy stacks and seeing what they bought. Some of them look very familiar here. It's like they're copying the, the, uh, the, <laughs> the photos on uh, uh, my search engine here. Uh, let's take a look at uh, what the better deals out here. Again, I'm recommending that you stick with the bars. The bars seem the best price. Any silver that you can buy and pay under uh, $6 an ounce, even better, under $5 per ounce, uh, I'd say stick with that uh, on premiums. It looks like 90% U.S. silver coins trading between 4 and 5 bucks per ounce um, out uh, uh, retail. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, so not a bad deal, but when you can buy 1 ounce, 10 ounce, and 100 ounce bars for that same price, already refined. Uh, I like the bars uh, a little bit better. As far as gold, same thing. The best deal out there is definitely gold bars. Uh, if I would not buy gold eagles, especially when they're at spot plus 160 to 180 over spot. 
Uh, if they've come down a little bit, I haven't seen it recently. Uh, same thing with maple leaves. Maple leaves are probably in 115 to 125 or 130 over spot. Uh, Krugers are probably in that one. Kruger ends are in that 100 to uh, uh, $150 over spot range. And um, let me take a look and see if I can find Kruger ends. Where are they? Didn't really see too many on this page. See a lot of Eagles and a lot of other bullion products. Uh, Philharmonics. I see a, a Austrian Philharmonic. Um, again, I'm going to just say any of these gold products that you can buy, recognizable gold products that you can buy, they're recognized by major dealers uh, across the world, uh, that you can purchase and pay less than $100 an ounce premium, do that. Stick with that. So, I mean, if you get lucky and you can buy some gold one ounce maples or Krugerrands for spot plus 100 or less, I think that's your best deal. Same thing with Austrian maple leaves. Um, and again, I kind of doubt you're going to be able to, you might find them at some smaller local coin stores that aren't really big bullion dealers and don't mind taking a little less because they need to turn it over. Uh, however, you're unlikely to find uh, uh, these products for less than $100 over an ounce per over spot. Uh, also, be aware of who you're buying from. Make sure the people that you're buying from know what they're looking at. Don't assume that they bought them from someone that did. Always assume that whatever you're buying, uh, make sure that you know, you know that they know what they're selling you. Because uh, the problem is, is that a lot of counterfeit goods end up going through good people. Like, you know, hey, your uncle tells you, your grandfather, your grandfather says, hey, son, hey grandson, I got, you, I got you some gold coins here I've had for a while. I bought them a long time ago from a guy I knew. Here, why don't you come over and buy them from me or I'll give them to you really cheap or something. Don't even trust your grandfather. He, no matter well how intentioned he is, he may have got burned himself and he just doesn't know any better. You know, with the price of gold the way it is and the price of silver the way it is, just don't take any risk. You know, if it's too cheap to be true, it probably is. Uh, and have the stuff checked out at the very least. Uh, but as I said, under $100 an ounce, you're, you're doing good. So you can buy any of these products here, these recognizable products we're looking at, for a spot plus 100 or less uh, good. Uh, and again, with gold uh, or silver, under... under uh, uh, for example, the bars here, generic one ounce bars. If you can buy those for spot under spot plus five bucks, you're doing good. If you can buy five and ten ounce bars for under spot plus five bucks, you're doing good. Uh, Hundred ounce bars, I've got them for spot plus uh, I think four dollars and twenty five cents over spot. Uh, spot plus four fifty, spot plus four twenty five. Uh, so again, under five bucks is your best deal out there right now. If you're paying more than five dollars an ounce for any silver product, you're paying too much. Um, again, separate that collector type uh, desire with the uh, desire to build your wealth. Uh, separate the two entirely because just buying silver for the cheapest premium you can will add more money in your pocket down the road. And if you got more money in your pocket down the road, it gives you time to go out and buy cool collectible type things. Think about this. Uh, so focus on buying the cheapest premium that you can on all these products. Uh, fractional gold. I wanted to talk about that because I haven't talked about that in a little while. Uh, you see these little bars, these one gram and five gram and ten gram bars, and then you got like one tenth ounce and quarter ounce American Eagles and half ounce American Eagles. You got the same products with uh, uh, Maple Leafs too. They make quarters and halves. Well, the problem with these uh, quarters and halves and Maple Leafs, stay the hell away from. Them. Do not buy fractional U.S. Uh, Eagles, man. They're just uh, you, you think. One ounce gold products are crazy as far as the prices go. Fractional gold eagles are just insane. And I don't think that the fractional maple leaves or the other products are, are far, too far behind them. So what's the alternative? What's a good alternative to that? Uh, well, I kind of was just showing you a picture of good alternatives. Uh, if you can go out and buy, uh, for example, uh, uh, British gold sovereigns. B British gold sovereigns have been made since the 1700s or 1600s. They've been around forever. Uh, they're 0.2354 ounces of gold in each one. Uh, so just shy of a quarter ounce. If you can go out there and buy British sovereigns and pay anywhere from spot plus 15 to spot plus 30 bucks uh, over melt, uh, you're doing pretty good and you're getting a great product, recognizable worldwide. Not exactly a quarter ounce increment or 10 gram increment exact. Uh, still a great deal. Same thing with French 20 francs. If you can go out there and find French, I don't have pictures of those here, but if you can go out and find gold French 20 francs, roosters, um, uh, whatever, you know, the, the uh, old man head, <laughs> I forget what that is, uh, roosters, whatever French 20 francs, that uh, 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 same thing. If you can buy them for anywhere from like spot you know, melt price plus uh, uh, 15 to 30 bucks over. It's a great way to uh, uh, not buy fractional gold eagles and the other fractionals in the one gram and five gram and 10 gram bars, which is stupid premiums. Uh, so, and they are about 1.867 ounces. That's what a, uh, a 20 uh, 
uh, a 20 franc is French 20 franc and Belgium 20 francs and any of the 20 franc series are all uh, 0.186 7 ounces again great way to buy fractional gold been around forever recognizable products uh, you don't you want to stay away from eagles for sure uh, especially fractional pieces uh, other fractional good fractional gold deals out there uh, would be Mexican stuff if you can find it getting a little tougher to find there's a Mexican 50 peso right there uh, there Mexican uh, uh, two pesos two and a half pesos they've always had a high premium uh, best deal probably see if you can buy five uh, five pesos uh, Mexican five pesos and ten pesos 20s are tough too uh, and 50s uh, might not be a bad deal either I haven't seen them for a little while though uh, pretty popular product for some reason uh, but again, if you can buy those all for uh, spot plus thirty bucks on the fractional pieces, um, you know the melt price, melt price plus thirty dollars, uh, I think you're doing pretty good. Um, modern, I'm going to type in something up here. Modern uh, five dollar caps U.S. Um, here is a deal that I don't. Oh no, that's not it. Modern five dollar. Oh, sorry, I brought up some kind of caps here. Five dollar caps U.S. Uh, no, okay, the United States. Apparently, I'm not. Doing this right, United States five dollar gold coins. Uh, let's say Olympic. All right, that'll put that <laughs> a little more clear. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Is the United States since 1982 has been making commemorative coins. This is an overlooked area of, uh, of a cheap way to buy gold. Uh, in the United States gold, uh, they make 1986 Statue of Liberties in a five dollar gold piece. They make uh, 87 Constitutions, 88 Olympics. But you see these uh, uh, Olympics and uh, right here, Statue of Liberty. Where's the, I don't think I have a Statue of Liberty one here. Uh, these are mostly Olympic ones. Uh, let me type in uh, uh, SOL. SOL, let's see. Statue of Liberty, see if that one pops up. And no, it didn't. So I'll go back to, well, there it is right there. There's a SOL. And uh, all right, I'll go back here. Anyway, these are great deals too. If you can go out and buy these caps, uh, they're actually uh, point. Uh, 2419 uh, ounces of gold. Is it 0 0.2418? 0 0.2419, I believe it is, if you round it up a little bit. Uh, pure gold in each one of these. They're made by the U.S. Mint. You can buy, rather than buy quarter ounce American Eagles, you from the same people that make quarter ounce, ounce American Eagles that are charging ridiculous premiums, you can buy these $5 libs far cheaper. And again, I think they may be melt plus uh, 30 bucks or something like that. Way better deal. Uh, than buying uh, fractional U.S. gold pieces and or fractional uh, Canadian uh, gold pieces. Uh, I know this from experience. I'm not making this up. Uh, I'm just trying to give you some bad, good deals out there and what you should probably be looking to buy. Well, that's really about it. Keep this show uh, shorter than normal if I can. Uh, my recommendation is buy local. I am a brick and mortar store here in South Florida since 1995. I only deal locally. So, you know, unfortunately, if you don't live in my area and you can't come see me and deal face to face, I can't deal with you folks. But I do recommend um, to, to my peeps that are listening that don't live near me and uh, listen to me every day, buy local. Try to find yourself a local uh, uh, rare coin and precious metal dealer in your town or in your county. And if you have to drive an hour or so to keep the money in your state, do it. Why? Because keeping the money local is very important, and especially in these times and the economy we're going to see coming up. Keep the money in town for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 and 4, Mondays through Fridays. Happy to help you with whatever you need. And that's uh, really about it. Hey, I appreciate you watching again. Thanks. Have yourself a great day and talk to you tomorrow.